tonight, doctors in the South Bay say they're seeing an unprecedented amount of people getting sick and they suspect sewage is to blame. Health experts say contamination levels in the region are so high that even people who don't go near the water are getting sick. CBS 8's Rosila La Fed talked with doctors at an urgent care in Imperial Beach who believe there is a trend. Our big concern is this the next Flint, Michigan. Doctors at South Bay Urgent Care in Imperial Beach have uncovered an alarming trend. This is very, very frightening. When we started noticing that sewage in the water, people were getting sick, we started raising the red flag and saying this isn't okay. Data shows there's a direct correlation between massive sewage flows from the Tijuana River Valley after heavy rain and an increased number of sick people. Studies show the contamination is not just in the water, but also in the air. It's very concerning and we, we don't have healthy air, we don't have healthy water. Doctors Kimberly and Matthew Dixon have been tracking the data since last year. They say after every storm, they see an influx of patients with gastrointestinal illnesses. Symptoms include abdominal cramps, vomiting, diarrhea, and sometimes bloody stools. Now, when it rains, there's sewage in the water, people get sick. We know that pattern. Um, that's the known, but what about the unknown? They say what's even more concerning is the unknown possible long-term implications the pollution can have on our health. A long-term exposure to the pesticides, to the chemicals, um, to the heavy metals, to the hydrogen sulfide gases from the sewer. Are we going to see a lot of serious medical problems, dementia, leukemias, cancers? Are those all going to present in the next 20, 30 years? from the exposures. It can take between one to 10 days for symptoms to show up. Doctors urge the community to wash their hands as often as possible and avoid getting in the water at all costs. They also urge the government to step up and find a way to stop more sewage from spilling into communities. Just this week, Governor Newsom urged Congress to approve funding for Tijuana River sewage treatment and a delegation of local leaders, including Imperial Beach Mayor Paloma Aguirre, were on Capitol Hill today to raise awareness about cross-border pollution. Rocio de la Fe, CBS 8.